U-values measure how effective a material is as an insulator. The lower the U-value, the better the material is as a heat insulator. For example, a cavity wall has a U-value of 1.6, so most of the heat inside the house will stay in the house because the cavity wall will prevent heat loss by conduction and convection. Whereas a stone brick wall has a U-value of 2, so the heat will be lost from the house a lot easier and you'll end up paying more on your electricity bills, not to mention freezing your socks off. The specific heat capacity of a substance is the amount of energy needed to change the temperature of one kilogram of that substance by one degree Celsius. Different substances have different specific heat capacities. Water has quite a high specific heat capacity. This makes it useful for storing heat and transporting it using central heating pipes. You can use the specific heat capacity of a substance to work out how much energy is needed to heat up, let's say, two kilograms of water by 10 degrees Celsius, for example, by using this simple formula. E equals m times c times theta, where m is the mass of the substance in kilograms, c is the specific heat capacities in joules per kilogram degrees Celsius, and theta is the change in temperature in degrees Celsius. So for this example, the formula would be 2 times 4181, which is the specific heat capacity for water, times 10, which is 83,620 joules.